Thanks for letting me tag along tonight, guys. You should feel honored. Sam and Jay Take Manhattan has happened every Thursday night for the past week. Well, we definitely skipped it. Thursdays. Every Thursday. Every Thursday. Either way, let's get drunk. One hundred percent. Uh, shots, anyone? Fireball. <gasps> Are you ready to break yourself the scene? No, I'm still just going on dates. It just... It happens to be my favorite. Oh! Oh, you're so trashy! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for letting me come out with you tonight. I wasn't about to join Sam and Jay's weekly binge till you blackout night. <laughs> no worries. We were just gonna get together and talk about our trip home. Mm, but... We're here, why don't we just get drunk? Yes, okay. Liz, you're an expert. Will you please help me find someone for Able tonight? Well, that I could really be fun. Well, thank you, but I really don't need I wouldn't any say help. I have much experience with like guys flirting with me, but I'm always doing the tricking, so I mean, what? I, I'm always doing the flirting. I'm always doing the flirting. So, you know, if you want a girl to go home with you, you just have to say the word sex. Not in a creepy way. Like in conversation. You know, if she mentions her apartment, just say, oh, mine is great, but the walls are so thin, I can always hear my roommates having sex. Always works for me. Wow. Find out where she lives, and you know, know if you have any bars in the area that you know you could take her to, or, or you know, if she knows any good places that you've also been to, like, oh my god, we should really go there together sometimes, yes. <laughs> and just get her number and let her take the rain, probably. <laughs> but I really don't need any help. Uh huh. Absolutely. I do. Absolutely. From teeth like mine. What are you drinking? I'm not sure yet. You should try this. What is it? A Cosmo. Okay. Really? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Most guys usually think it's too girly. Well, that's ridiculous. Drinks don't have genders, so. <laughs> oh, you're so right. What's your name? I'm Tiffany. I'm Abel. I love that name. Bartender. What do you <laughs> want now, Tiffany? <laughs> uh, he wants a Cosmo. You want a Cosmo? He does. Tiffany. Let the man order. You want a Cosmo? I'll have two Cosmos. Two Cosmos, coming right up. Hey. Hi. I saw your friends ditch you, so I thought I'd come over and, and keep you company. You thought that would work? What? Oh, you think I'm trying to pick you up? No, I really just thought you looked so pathetic over here by yourself. Thank you. Do you have a uh, community service sheet I need to initial? Uh, I forgot it at home. Sorry to waste your time. Liz. Huh? That's my name. Cool. But the court really does frown upon forging the signature, so... Oh. So, um, Dean, what did you do to land yourself all this community service? I did something really terrible. Mm -hmm. I stepped on my cat's paw. 
How did you get caught? Turned myself in. It was an accident, but I... My conscience just kept eating me up. You're a cat person. Is this the part where I make a joke about pussy? Yeah. <laughs> No, so that was definitely the scariest moment of my life. Yeah, you should be dead, dude. I know. I had my seatbelt on. Mm -hmm. But when the bar came up, I swore I was just going to fly right off of the roller coaster and end up splattered all over the ground below. <laughs> yeah, you definitely <laughs> win. No, but I think being kidnapped by freaks is way worse. Yeah, well, if, if being, I think being kidnapped by murderers would have been way worse. Oh. But, you know, it's still terrifying. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. Murderers are way worse. You want to do some shots? You know, celebrate our near-death experiences? Mm, shots? Okay. Mm, clear or dark? Surprise me. Can we have two shots of Jameson, please? Whiskey, good choice. <laughs> the only choice. Ooh. Well? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you can't. Hey, is this your scarf? I think you dropped it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> no problem. I think I actually have the same one. Oh, really? Yeah. I got a mine at a thrift shop in Queens. Oh, nice. I love thrift shops. Except whenever I buy something, I can always see like the whole history of it, you know, like mm, yeah. where it came from and who wore it last. Yeah, the same thing happens to me. Like sometimes it's hard to pick something out because you're like, uh, did the last person have really bad hygiene? Can one wash really get rid of years of wear? Yeah, yeah, totally. Except I can actually see who had it last because I'm a psychic. No way. Yes, way. Well, you're gonna have to prove that to me. I could give you a palm reading. Can you do it here, or does it have to be quiet? I could do it now, but it's better if it's in private. Okay, save it. And for now, let me buy you a drink. Yeah, yes, thank you. I'm Diana, by the way. Mara. So you said you live in Queens? It's the farmers. Wait, but, but who, who farms? Because that's just messing up the whole deal. Because it's, it's midnight dark at, at 6 p.m. And then there's like a billion or two people in the city. And there's like 117 farmers in all of America. So where's the map? Dude, that's so wrong. We gotta support our farmers. Like, the ones who don't use pesticides and shit. Wait, I, I thought that, that will make, that's what makes the shit grow. No, not manure. Like, like shit. Like bad shit. Uh. That's how we save America, man. True. No, I'm not even kidding. I lied to all of them for rent money. <laughs> That's insane. You're insane. I know. I... <laughs> <laughs> but then again, so are they. Because if you're stupid enough to just throw rent money at your pregnant one night stand and then just disappear, you kind of deserve it. Thank you. That is what I always said. I can't believe I'm telling you all this. Why? I mean, don't you think I'm a complete cunt? Yes. Like in a new age, let's reclaim the word kind of way. Nobody is doing that with that word. No, I, I think Australian people are. Huh. Well, kangaroo. Where are you from? Jersey. That's so cool. It is? Yeah, I can't think of a more romantic spot than the boardwalk in New Jersey. You can't? Don't you love this feeling? What? Going out and not knowing what's going to happen. Meeting someone new. Someone awesome. Yeah. That's what I always miss when I'm in a relationship. It's like the excitement, the flirtiness, the banter, the back and forth. You know what I mean? I do. 
So I'm really good at baking, and part of me just wants to say fuck law school and bake cakes all day, but I can't. Um, you can. There are these places, I don't know if you've heard of them, they're called um, bakeries. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, no, I, it's just that when I was younger, my parents always used to say, like, grow up and make money, Mara, and so that's what I have to do. I have to get a real job. So are you saying being a sidekick isn't a real job? Oh, shit. No, that is not what I meant at all. Um, actually, there's a sidekick in my area, and she's really nice. And her name is like Anne okay, something. Okay, not so. all sidekicks know each other. Oh my god, you're right. Okay, you're right. Um, I hate when my friends do that. Like, when they're like, oh, Stacy, you know Stacy, the other Hispanic girl in that class. I just, um, I just think you're making me nervous. I am? Yeah. So do you want to go back to my place? Do you want to go back to my place? Do you want to come back to my place? Do you want to go back to my place? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, okay. I'd love to. There was this one thing I was wondering. Yeah. Could my friend Amber come? Absolutely. You could sign my community service form. What do you say? What's in it for me? What? I don't know. Okay. Like I go back to your place and then what? I mean, you. What are you doing in here? Gender's a spectrum. Are you okay? Uh, I didn't mean to upset you. I don't know how to do this. Well, I'm confused. I thought you said you slept with guys. No, before. I know how to. Go home with someone that I'm not about to lie or trick or owe something to. Everyone always says like, you know, women should take a break from men, but no one ever says that about men. And I just broke up with like my first real boyfriend, like my first real boyfriend, and I'm 23 years old. And and he and I only got together because he gave me a job, and I just don't know how to be with somebody. Hey, look, look, that's that's okay. Right, it's cool. I only ask because I really like talking to you. Do you like talking to me? Well, yeah. Okay, cool. So then let's just keep doing that. Let's go on a walk. For a walk? It's the most platonic activity I could think of. My grandma and her boyfriend go on walks all the time and they seem very happy. <laughs> okay. Okay? Yeah. Yes? <laughs> yes? Yes, 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 yes. She said yes, oh everybody. Oh my god. Till sunrise. Your body's looking good tonight. I'm thinking we should cross the line. Let's ruin the friendship. Let's ruin the friendship. Do all the things on our minds. What's taking us all this time? Let's ruin the friendship. Let's ruin the friendship I'm sorry, I... I can't do this. I can't do this. But did you drink too much? Nah. God, don't tell me that you're cheating on someone with me. No. No, I'm not, I'm not, is but, but there is someone and we're trying this, we're trying this open thing and, and tonight was my first night being open. And it's not biting, huh? Yeah. So why don't you stay till sunrise? Your body's looking good tonight. You say, um, you live with your brother? Yeah, he's not gonna be home for hours. He's a bartender. Oh. 
Wait. What? Can we, um... Oh! We don't... We don't have to do anything. Uh, can we, um... Can we just talk? Or... <laughs> hey! Know, I don't know. Hey, um, it's cool. It's cool. Cool. <laughs> As cucumbers. <laughs> As cucumbers? Yes, as cucumbers. Can we stop saying cucumbers? Okay, I promise to stop saying the C word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm kind of hungry now. Do you have any C words that we could eat? I thought you said you didn't want to do that. <laughs> I feel like a dick. Well, if it's an open relationship, you shouldn't feel bad. No, not about her. About you, you know, like... You came all the way here with me, you know, and... All that stuff. And I'm like, oh, boo fucking who? I can't. Hey, like, what hey, is spoiled? No. Like, Look, relax. Calm down. Take it slow. Okay? <laughs> Shit like this happens for whatever reason. I mean, okay, so there was this one guy, um, and he spent over 300 bucks on me once. And by the time we got back to his place and we were getting into, you know, sexy time, mm. <laughs> I started exploring his body. And when yeah. my hand got where it should go, Mm -hmm. I couldn't even grab a handful. My handful. <laughs> oh. And I have small hands, so... Yeah. yeah, so he almost got what he wanted, and at the last second, it got yanked away from him, and not because of whatever, but because he had a small penis, and he knew that that was why. Oh, wow. So for you to get so worked up over something kind of emotional uh -huh. isn't so... Whatever you said it was. Sexy time. Yes, sexy time. Thanks, Ava. No problem. Well, I'm gonna head out. You can stay, it's late. No, it's not that far away. As you wish, wise fish. You know you should tell her? I can't do that. She's the one who wanted this, and I agreed. Well, how many guys has she been with since? None. Girls. However. Girls. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I thought so too. Well, you have my number, right? I do. So you should call or text me, even if it's just as friends. I really like you. Yeah, same. <laughs>